When we look up at the night sky, we often see our ancient celestial companion, the moon. Its phases have captivated humanity for millennia, inspiring myths, guiding the ocean's tides, and marking the passage of time. But what really causes the moon's phases? Let's find out. Thank you for watching and enjoy. The moon's phases result from its orbit around Earth and the interplay of sunlight. The moon itself does not produce light. Instead, it reflects the sun's rays. Depending on its position in orbit around Earth, we see varying portions of its sunlit side. This cycle, known as the lunar month, lasts approximately 29 and a half days. When the moon is positioned between Earth and the sun, the new moon phase begins. In this phase, the side facing Earth is in darkness, making the moon seem nearly invisible. This phase lasts about a day or so. As the moon continues its orbit, a sliver of light appears. This is known as the waxing crescent which lasts about six days, revealing more of its surface to us each night. At the first quarter, the moon forms a 90 degree angle with Earth and the sun, displaying half of its illuminated surface. This phase lasts about a day. The journey continues with the waxing gibbous phase, lasting about six days as the illuminated portion continues to expand. The full moon occurs when Earth is positioned between the moon and the sun, here the moon is fully reflecting the sun's light back to Earth, and this phase lasts about a day. Following the full moon, the light starts to wane. The waning gibbous phase lasts about six days, showing gradual darkening each night. This leads to the last quarter, where only half of the moon's surface is illuminated, lasting about a day. Finally, the waning crescent. The waning crescent phase marks the final part of the cycle, lasting about six days before returning to the new moon. The moon's phases have guided countless aspects of human life. Ancient civilizations used lunar calendars to track time. Farmers plan their harvests, and poets and artists have found inspiration in these phases. The moon's consistent silent rhythm reminds us of the larger cosmic cycles we are a part of. Each phase serves as a subtle display of the interconnectedness of all things. As we gaze upon the moon, let's remember that its ever-changing face mirrors our own journey through time and space. Through light and dark, it is a constant presence in the night sky, a silent witness to our lives and aspirations. The moon's phases are not just an astronomical phenomenon. They're a profound reminder of our place in the universe a place I am very grateful for and glad to share with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm glad to have you here. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit the like button or share this video with other curious minds. Your support truly goes a long way and it helps others find and enjoy these adventures through the cosmos. I am forever grateful for the support from this community and I can't thank you enough. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and if you would like to join me on more adventures soon, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.